Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new video. I am in a new destination and it is Cambodia. Uh, we just arrived here to Phnom Penh and I wanted to show you this amazing room. I just dropped my stuff and I am in awe. It's such a beautiful bedroom with a huge bed. I love the prints that they have here on the walls there's so many beautiful ones as well downstairs in the lobby i might be able to show that to you tomorrow um, and let me quickly um, show you the bathroom two sinks bathrobe love that so spacious and bright i love that and a bathtub of course shower and this is the toilet tomorrow we're gonna meet up with the crew at nine in the morning um, i'm gonna go down a bit earlier to have breakfast and um, we're gonna do a city tour we're gonna go to a bunch of uh, sightseeing places i think we're gonna be a pretty big group because um yeah i think it's everyone's first time it's a very new destination with emirates so I think they started flying just on the 1st of June and um, yeah, I'm just very lucky to be here um, and just discover the culture, so I'm quite excited. From what I've heard from my colleagues and friends who've been here is that it's quite sad and you know, like people cried and stuff when they heard stuff that happened here. Um, but we're gonna also go to, I think, a few temples, we'll see, I mean, what the majority wants to do. Um, I'm actually feeling quite hungry, so I might order some room service and I'm feeling quite tired so I'll definitely go to bed right after that and uh, yeah it's been just a long day you know we flew from Dubai to Bangkok had a little stop over there for about two hours and then we flew here to Phnom Penh and yeah so it's been really 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 long day and I'm just excited to rest I just ordered some room service and I got chicken spring rolls and I got something traditional Cambodian which is amok fish and I'm very excited to try it. It should be really nice. I don't really understand what's going on, but this looks really sad. Oh, baby girl, don't cry. Anyways, it's time for bed. Good night, guys. Good morning. Unfortunately, it's raining. It's not raining very badly at the moment, but when I woke up, it did look pretty bad. And now the crew are saying, oh, should we cancel? It's not gonna be enjoyable. So that sucks, but I'm gonna go for breakfast and I think I'm still gonna go. Not by myself, hopefully somebody still decides to come with me. Because, you know, I don't come every day to Cambodia. I still wanna go and it's just like a little bit of rain. It's not like cold rain. So, um, you know, you don't have to wear a coat. So I think we should be fine. All right, let's go for breakfast now and then I'll see what's up later. Just wrapped up the breakfast. We're ready to rock and roll. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi, hi. Morning. Hi, <laughs> hi Amida. Hi. Yes. Good morning, please. We're ready to go. As always, four out of nine came up. <laughs> That's the standard. I think we were nine, yeah, in the group. <laughs> so we ordered two tuk tuks. Uh, oh wow, that's like a royal carriage. Okay guys, who goes first? Okay, I'll go first then. Um, ooh, that's a nice tuk-tuk actually, right? Very, very nice. Oh la la. Guys, we fit You see? But the half can sit here. Okay, no, it's meant... 
Guys, wait. We can all fit here. Tell them. Wait. 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 Come, come. Let's try something. Come, come. Come here. Okay, maybe we manage actually to fit in one. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was Would spacious. Have... I yes, the half can fit next to me. <laughs> the half. Now it's my surname. The half. Guys, are you okay? Okay. Yeah, you okay? You okay? Yeah, we will fit. Sorry, we didn't know. We can fit three women. This is gonna be nice. And it stopped raining. Yeah. We arrived to Royal Palace. Thank you. Um, we're just gonna take a look because, um, yeah, we can't go inside wearing this. So we're just gonna take a look around. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at these pigeons everywhere. It's like a pigeon palace. Yes, pictures. No drone zone. This girl was chasing pigeons. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Having the time of life. Yes, girl. I'm scared. I hope the pigeons don't poop on us because she keeps chasing them. You want to see the palace, right? Since we can't go inside, I mean not all of us, <laughs> we're trying to sneak a photo. This is how it looks inside. I mean inside the gate. So wait, which building is the main one? That one or that one? I'm so confused. They kind of look the same. There's another one there. No, I don't see there's any, nothing there. Yeah. So I can't tell you much more about this place. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the next location. That okay. is so weird. I just, yeah. I was just thinking about <laughs> that I should have gotten my mask and this guy stops and gets us masks because it's a bit smelly. So weird. Oh my God. So cool. Just arrived to the killing fields. We're gonna go get our tickets now. That was one fun ride. You guys can remove your masks now. <laughs> no, you, you like it? <laughs> she likes her mask. Oh, this will be sad. So I'm gonna give you. Thank you. Thanks. English. Yes, please. So they will give us like an audio tool. Thank you. Okay, I'm wired now with all the cables. This is what the tour involves. Okay, we're gonna start the tour now. So I'll film uh, a little bit later, or maybe when I can talk again. If you're ever, ever in Cambodia, you have to visit this place. Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, yeah, 
it was definitely, definitely worth it, but so sad. No, we go to the massage. <laughs> no, we go to the market to buy souvenirs now. And food. Well, I want food. Yeah. Yesterday she didn't have breakfast, that's why. We had a nice breakfast. Yeah, we had a nice breakfast. This is the market. Tourist heaven if you want to buy. Souvenirs. Oh, my mom would love this right now. Oh, wow. That's not your ordinary market. Wow, very, very cool. I want to get something for my dad, but I have no idea what. Thanks, yeah, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna get him like a t-shirt or something like that. You can buy so much stuff here. Hats, bags, clothes. They're, from what I see, even suing them here as well. Um, I just bought a t-shirt with an elephant that says Cambodia my dad and I'll show it to you when I get to the hotel and we arrived to our last spot prison slash school slash genocide museum you guys are enjoying the mist ah my camera is getting wet uh, okay let's go let's go let's get the tickets <laughs> If you guys want to come here, it's called the Genocide Museum. It was the secret center of a network of nearly 200 prisons where people were tortured by the Khmer Rouge. Between 12,000 and 20,000 people were in prison here, and there are only 12 confirmed survivors. To finish the mm -hmm. tour, you can buy some books here to learn more about Cambodia's Khmer Rouge. It's heartbreaking, actually. I don't know. I kind of felt nauseous while I was checking out all these buildings and torture rooms. So I'm just trying to distract myself now and just look at some other stuff. What they have here? You can buy these pretty coconut bowls. Um, I actually bought similar one from Vietnam when I just started flying a few years back but yeah, this is basically the same thing really pretty I actually feel like I learned a lot today and just gave me such a different perspective of how lucky we are to live in the age that we live in and yeah I don't know I just kind of need time to digest all the information to be honest and kind of reflect
I'm buying the German book for my mom and I hope she will like it. Thank you. I don't understand what's wrong with this dress. It just has this weird thing here when I left my arm. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so um, I'm back in the hotel and um, I'm gonna have a shower now because I just wanna uh, refresh myself just feel very like uh, after being in the tuk tuk the whole day and i want to talk to you guys about what i've learned today and um yeah just kind of end the vlog uh here i actually feel so much better now after the shower um i'm gonna just order some room service and then we guys are gonna have a little chat hi good afternoon i'd like to order some food please can I have the wonton noodle soup? Yes, please. And can I also have the French crab? What is the Khmer sweets? Is it nice? Okay, so I'm gonna try the Khmer rice, yeah. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, thank you. You too, bye. So they didn't um, have the French crab. I was craving something sweet. Um, so I ended up getting the noodles, soup, and some traditional Cambodian desserts. So let's see. <laughs> I don't know if I should keep my towel on and talk to you guys or should I change? Actually, first, let me just uh, maybe show you what I bought today. I didn't get a lot of stuff actually, but... Um, yeah, just a few things really so we went to this um central market and i just bought like a tank top sorry it's upside down oh i'm so bad at showing clothes on camera um yeah so i got this tank top for jd it's 100 percent cotton he loves wearing tank tops around the house so i think he's gonna like this one um yeah so that's one Sorry, I'm throwing items here, but it's kind of hard to film with one hand and um, show you guys. But um, yeah, so this one is for my dad. <laughs> it's a very typical um, dad type of t-shirt, um, but I think he's going to like it. And um, I wanted to actually say that I am going to Lithuania very, very soon, in like 10 days. And... I haven't been there for three years so that's gonna be crazy i'm just going for my days off so i'll only be there for like four days i just want to see my dad some of my friends and yeah i just kind of want a little break uh from like you know traveling i just want to go back to where i come from and so uh with that being said uh where was i going um yeah so i'm kind of buying small items or actually i've been buying small items and just you know souvenirs for my dad from around the world and i'm gonna give it to him when i come back now um so i think that's gonna be like a nice gift you know after being away for such a long time and i really hope that he appreciates it so there's one more thing that i wanted to show you and it is the book that i bought at the genocide museum it's called survivor um, I bought it in German because, uh, yeah, my mom doesn't really speak English, so I thought um, she might enjoy this. It's just crazy that I got to see this actual man and, you know, sit next to him. He also signed the book, so that's incredible. Um, yeah, it was just $10, and I just hope she will read it and maybe learn something new. And speaking about dollars, everything in Cambodia is... In US dollars and if you pay for something like today for example I bought coffee which was a dollar 75 they gave me like the change in local currency I don't really know why they're using US dollars I think one of the crew told me that as because the currency is weak so I haven't really researched it I don't know if it's true or not but um, I just thought it was interesting because countries like Thailand and you know Vietnam that are just around here they have their own currency so I thought it was quite interesting that Cambodia uses US dollars. Guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, my food just arrived, so I'm gonna eat before it gets cold and then I'm gonna continue filming. Oof, that looks so good. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I basically inhaled um, this soup. Uh, the noodles were so good. Um, I was actually craving pho and 
um, speaking of pho, so it's obviously a Vietnamese food, right? And I kind of realized that I forgot to mention to you guys that I was supposed to go to Vietnam actually for this flight. So I had Saigon and the day before the flight, one of my colleagues um, accepted the swap for Phnom Penh. And yeah, so I am in Cambodia instead of Vietnam. That's kind of crazy. Um, also, there's a few other things that I want to talk to you guys and I actually wrote them on my phone because I feel like I am going to forget if I do um, not write them. So today when we were in the genocide museum and in the killing fields, I learned a few interesting things. So for example, the people who were killed were, for example, very educated. And so let's say if you were wearing glasses, that was kind of uh, considered as you being an intellectual and you know, that's you would be like one of the people who would, you know, be brought to like, let's say, um, that prison and tortured and it's just so so insane that you know that's how the world worked just like you know a few decades ago basically I mean not the world sorry um, like that how the government here in Cambodia functioned it's it's very very heartbreaking it's I don't know I don't know how to explain it I think you must go to this type of place to learn and to feel what we felt today and also when we were exiting um, the genocide museum they had a bunch of books there so um i saw this book um uh, first they killed my father and it really rang a bell like i i just could remember that title from somewhere so i'm really eager to watch the movie because i don't know if i would actually want to read the whole book like it's just so dark and depressing and you know reading takes a lot longer so i will definitely watch the movie on netflix and um yeah i'm just really intrigued to learn more about this whole topic and actually one of my colleagues recommended another movie in this genre and, and about Cambodia it's um, The Killing Fields actually, that's what it's called and apparently it's a very old movie so I don't know what it's exactly um, about is it like a documentary or fiction but I'm sure it's gonna be as well interesting so if you like history if you want to learn about Cambodia definitely watch it and I'm sure you're gonna learn something and one more thing that I've learned today is that Cambodia used to be a French colony that's why a lot of people like speak a little bit of French or they have like signs in French or like even the hotel you know like the do not disturb sign for example underneath it it says in French as well the same thing so I thought that was pretty interesting I mean History is just so fascinating. I was gonna end this vlog with something a bit more positive because I had a feeling that uh, what I've learned today and what I've shared might have been a bit too dark or too negative for some people. But then I realized that a lot of the times I am just too worried about what somebody might think. I realized that I should really stop doing that because what matters is that I share, you know, an honest opinion. Yesterday before I fell asleep, I watched something quite interesting on YouTube. Um, it was an interview with one girl from Lithuania and, you know, there were people commenting like some rude stuff about her and um, one of the comments specifically said something like, oh, this person is not bringing like any value and they're just like any ordinary girl on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. And that just kind of made me think that you know whether what I share is it you know worth somebody's time or is it like basically are my videos bringing any value to my viewer to you guys and um, it kind of made me think you know is it something that I do for my joy or is it something that I do to inspire people or is it even worth the time basically that's that's what I kind of was thinking about before I fell asleep and. I realize that I do it because I love it. I've always loved capturing moments and sharing adventures and photos and I just hope that someone out there watches it and you know maybe feels a little bit of an escape from their everyday life and enjoys what I share. To be honest with you guys, um, I feel a bit embarrassed but I do feel extremely grateful. Just recently um, two of my colleagues approached me. One approached me in college while I was having my annual exams and she said, um, she was actually still in training and she said that um, I was basically her inspiration to come to Emirates and that she actually teared up and I just, I was in shock and I was like, this is no way possible that what I share or 
what I post can be that influential, you know. The other girl, the other day after a flight, uh, approached me as well as we were picking up our suitcases and she's like, you're the reason why I'm here, why I'm flying, and I just thought this isn't real. I mean, I used to watch other people's videos, I used to look up to certain people and in no way did I ever think that, you know, what I share could be inspiring to anyone. I mean, I hoped, but I just didn't think it would be, you know? It just feels really, really good to be sharing the content that I want to share, to talk about things that I want to talk about and not maybe, you know, sugarcoat stuff. And I mean, you guys know that nothing's perfect and, you know, my lifestyle is not perfect, I'm not perfect, and I just try to make the most out of every given opportunity. I just hope that you guys appreciate um, whatever it is that I share and that maybe you can relate to it or maybe you might get inspired by it. I just felt like I really needed to get this out of my system and just to share what is really going on inside my head and inside my heart. And yeah, I think it's time for me to sleep so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now and yeah, share your thoughts or your feedback with me in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye!